Okay, so we might have the next Dokkan Festival teaser uh, basically tonight in about, what is that, 13, no, that was like 15 hours from now at the time of this recording. This video will go up and it'll be about like 14-ish hours when the actual teaser will likely come out. So the reason why I'm saying this is because we could just take a look at last year's schedule and kind of try to predict how things are going to go. It could be tonight, it could be tomorrow night, right? Nothing official, obviously. It's just our predictions. So, uh, last year, on Wednesday, October 26th, Bardock Stokan Fest was announced here. If we take a look here at the 26th, uh, 1 a.m. Pacific time, we did get the announcement for the Bardock Stokan events, um, which was pretty cool. I think a uh, good choice for Dokkan Fest last year. Now, that, of course, again, like I said, was on Wednesday, um, which today is Tuesday. Tomorrow is going to be Wednesday for me in many parts of the world. I think it's already Wednesday, but regardless, um... I'm thinking, so how the schedule went last year is we see the 26th Wednesday, we had the actual teaser. The 27th, uh, we actually had the Twitter info and the data download on the 27th, 28th, depending on your time zone. And then he actually ended up coming out on Monday, at least for me. He came out on Monday, the 31st Halloween. So it is very possible that it's going to be a similar schedule this week. We still need to get a data download this week. Last night we had all these Halloween events announced, right? So what I'm thinking is going to be happening from here is I think it's just going to follow the same schedule, right? Dokkan event teaser, Twitter info data download, you know, on the 26th for me, then a release on Monday the 30th. Now, another thing that does support this kind of, you know, theory that at least I'm, you know, con concocting here is the sales. So last year, we actually did not have sales for the part two. Uh, well, actually, no, we did have sales for the gammas. My bad. Usually they don't give sales for those banners, but I forgot yet. We had the gammas last year, not an actual LR, right? This year we had an LR like usually. But you see here, the sales end on the 29th. Um which does, you know, mean that a banner won't come up before the 29th, which makes sense. They didn't really drop banners of the weekend, but I would expect what could happen is, you know, the 29th will actually see the celebration info at 8 a.m., which, you know, will be a minute after the sales do end. Then uh, we'll get the actual release of the character on the 30th. So that's what i'm thinking here i think it's just going to follow the same exact schedule as dokkan festival bardock last year which will be really good um and hopefully that's the case or else you know it, it could also just be tomorrow right uh like the 26th right and it follows the 26th 27th then the 31st release schedule potentially uh, or maybe they still release on the 30th right who knows for sure but Regardless, um, within the next day or two, we will get the teaser and we'll know exactly who the Dokkan Fest is going to be. So I did ask Twitter, who do y'all think uh, the Dokkan Festival will be? I got a few responses, but I want to talk about some of my guesses first before we hop in and talk about, um, you know, what your guys' thoughts are. And let me know in the comments below who you would like to see for the next Dokkan Festival exclusive. So, uh, first and foremost, I'm going to say my guest, like always, Tapion. <laughs> I mean, you guys, if you watched my previous videos, you know why I'm saying Tapion. But big thesis is um, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. That's the big theory there. This guy is the oldest unit without his easy A. I think it'd be easy just for them to knock out, you know, like a Dokkan Festival Tapion from the same movie, right? Wrath of the Dragon. Tapion does already have a Dokkan event. Well, I guess it's Tapion and Harutagorn. I don't know. Is it like under the name Tapion? Like this character, I like how do I explain it? Um, like the Dokkan events. Oh, it's Tapion Harutagorn, but the Dokkan event specifically is basically the Harutagorn Dokkan event, right? Phantom Magic and Spoken Flame. Maybe we got just a standalone Harutagorn character as a Dokkan Fest, which is fine for me. I think it would probably be like another Tapion Harutagorn would make sense. I mean, this AGL Harutagorn Tapion, he's like a solid unit, you know, but I don't think he's like good enough to where it's like oh it would be a shame if he gets replaced right he's like a solid unit at best already got his easy a so i don't really mind if he's like you know replaced as a character i mean you know, he could very easily lead the giant form category which uh we do have on junior there but he could just be another leader for that team he would help out my junior a little bit right especially if they want to give him big bad bosses for some reason you know probably wouldn't give him big bad bosses but uh, that would be really cool uh somehow 
I think that that could be interesting as a Dokkan Fest, just a new update to this Dokkan anime, which hasn't been updated since uh, <laughs> 2017. Um, so they could easily update that Dokkan anime for sure. Now, maybe it could just be like a Tapion Dokkan Fest by himself, which is fine as well. Doesn't necessarily have to be Hurugan. Like a Tapion by himself does not have his own Dokkan event, so it could just be a new Dokkan event added. Doesn't really matter from there. Um, you could even argue maybe it's just a new Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I would assume they would save like a brand new Super Saiyan 3 Goku for like premium animations for like an LR. I don't assume that they would drop him as like a your normal you know Dokkan Festival TUR. At this point, these regular Dokkan Festival TURs that aren't part of major celebrations, you know, even in general, are probably just like less, you know, hype quote unquote characters, like generally hype, right? So, like, let's say Tapion, or even like maybe they drop us a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. I would say Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks at this point should get an LR, but maybe they will drop like a new Gotenks, right? Because uh, I feel like let's say let's say gotenks is in the dokkan festival teaser i would be excited i like gotenks but i feel like a lot of people would be like gotenks skip right you know this that's just bound to happen um but yeah this guy's easy ace that could be finally finally right this guy he's getting an easy a he's a very offensive unit hopefully they just remove this you know who knows what they're gonna really do with this guy i can't really tell you for sure he needs key for sure though like what if it's like you know what could be interesting because yeah i don't know i don't know just something something could be interesting for this unit um a lot of teams interesting link set he just needs help with his key issues and then probably just make him do like a like you know just make him like lr rose is maybe not necessarily as good because rosie is technically an anniversary unit but i don't know if they make them like if they make them like on par with lr rosie's easy a the in lr rosie i think i'd be very satisfied with that because at the end of the day these guys are kind of similar design units um and even though this guy is so old it would be nice if he is as good as he could potentially be so fingers crossed again he's the oldest unit premium without um an actual easy a so i would assume you would likely get an easy a I would not assume these guys will get an easy by the way. That happens, right? It would just be the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Now, next, uh, we're going to dip into a little bit into heroes. Um, so, we did get the characters for the hero collaboration. Sometimes, the characters do, like, the Dokkan Fest that comes out before heroes. Well, most of the time, it's a time traveler's character. Um, the last year, you know, it wasn't, we got the Dokkan Festival Bardock. But a lot of times, like, you know, those characters kind of deal with um, the Dokkan Fest or the, like, main heroes unit, right? So it seems this year, I mean, based on what I'm seeing, Rosé seems to be, like, you know, I, I mean, obviously, Vegito is the character. We all know. But, like, you know, with how they're positioning everything, this is, like, the spot Hart was in in last year's promotional material. And... To me, last year I felt like Hearts was like, you know, the character of the celebration in their eyes. So I could see this Rosé, Super Saiyan 3 Rosé that transforms into full power Rosé. That to them could be like the character, you know what I mean? So it is possible that, you know, let's say Goku Black finally gets his Dokkan Fest, right? A lot of people were very confused, like... Why didn't Goku Black get anything during the worldwide download celebration, like a new card? Considering how popular Goku Black is as a character, a lot of people were like, what's going on there? You know, uh, no new Goku Black at all during the celebration. It's quite weird. We just got the easy A for the Int LR and then the Int TUR. Maybe we finally get a new base form Goku Black Dokkan Fest. I think that would be cool. Probably still save Rosé. Maybe it could be a transforming TUR Rosé Goku Black. I would assume. I mean, yeah, it could it could still be a transforming one. And then he still has so many animations that could be building good, you know, and LR animations that he can get an LR in the future. Like the scythe, it could be like Goku Black base form into Rose that does the Divine Lasso. And then we could still get like a Scythe Rose specifically as a brand new Dokkan Festival LR in the future. That is just Rose Goku Black and not a transforming one. I mean Obviously, we got this guy, but he's not really that great. So it, no one would really care if this guy would be like, you know, quote unquote, replaced like that. And base form Goku Black, I mean, again, this is the last base form Goku Black, like, you know, Dokkan Festival type unit we have gotten. 
Um, if we take a look here again, this guy came out in 2018, so his dope kind of it has not been updated since 2018. I think this guy also came out um, in uh, this spot, I think, right? Yeah, this unit also came out, wait, yeah, at the beginning of November, right? Uh, let me take a look at October 30th. No, no, he came out in November. Oh, yeah, yeah, so he was the December unit, and then we got LR Trunks in my right, okay. But this guy um, did basically come out, you know, around this time frame, like a month later, but still, you guys get what I mean. We can easily see a Goku Black Dokkan Fest, I think, is very possible. Base from Goku Black into Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. It'd be a nice addition to the Zamasu team. This unit would also fit the Zamasu team. Now, in fact, let me double check Zamasu's team. What's this 200% for? Time traveling. Okay, so so both of the like characters would fit the um, Zamasu team, obviously, right? Because they're time travelers. So I would definitely love that. I think you know, I, if I had to choose. I would choose Goku Black just because I want the Zamasu team to get even more additions. There's still, you know, a lot of like characters we could get for Future Saga. I mean, again, for some reason, um, keep in mind <laughs> we have we still have the stickers for these two, um, that are just in the data. For some reason, I don't know why they just have they're just in the data. We got them like when Tech Super Trunks came out. Um, they're in his data downloaded. That was four months ago. So. We'll see what's gonna happen with these two. I mean, again, it could be Goku Black. Then we got those two sub EZAs. Who would be like the main EZ for the celebration though? Like, uh, I mean, they could, what if they just put Super Saiyan 3 Goku on there? Like a main EZA for the celebration? I don't know. I mean, they got LR Rose already done. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be like a future saga unit. It could be just like a time traveler's unit. I wish I brought the um, Misaka's list up. In fact, let me, um. Okay, so I brought Misaka's EZA list up. Like, who who could it be? Um, probably. I mean, it, they could just get the androids in there. This, uh, yeah, I guess the androids could work. Sure, I think that'd be fine. Um, I don't think any of these characters would EZA really, besides like the androids. Yeah, I mean, that'd be fine. Maybe these Power Wishes and Broly Trio EZAs or something. Um, they could also just get. LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku out of the way, even if he's not related to the celebration. Like, um, Physical Beerus and LR God Goku got an Extreme Z Awakening during the Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku celebration. So maybe they just get this guy out of the way. You know, I, that, that'd be fine, right? It doesn't really have to match the celebration necessarily, especially since this is such a, you know, even, even Tanabata, such a big celebration, didn't even really match the theme. So, you know, the Beerus and the God Goku. So that was kind of interesting, right? Um, so that's another theory you could have but again that's enough of me babbling on let's see what the comments are thinking um okay broly jiren god topo base vegeto frieza nail someone so somebody you don't have a good version of i'm not sure about broly they'll probably say broly god topo or jiren i guess could work for sure more turn around of power base vegeto i guess that could work as well at first one frieza or nail i think would be interesting choices as well oh, there's some quotes here Excuse me, uh, Lord Slug, Saiyan, or Zarbon. Big Bad Boss, this character can... I, I don't know. It's like, Goku Black and Tapion are like characters you've been saying for months. Tapion right here, Gotenks or Tien. Gotenks would be a good character. Down for 18 of which you'll also... They're gonna happen eventually, I would say. 21 already has a Dokkan Fest event, right? So, it would be kind of surprising if they don't ever give her a Dokkan Fest, right? Baby, baby could be an interesting pick. Just like an I don't know where pick sure. Um, one of these two, one of the, these three. I mean, or four. I can't count. My bad. I think any of these three could work. Oh, I keep saying three again, right? Maybe yeah. Garlic Jr. would be good. Boo tanks, Fat Boo, Super Saiyan Go tanks. I think all of them could work out. Some dumbass character, maybe. <laughs> it, probably just gonna be the most random character. Like, it, it, like let's say they give us. I don't know, freaking um, Lord Slug. It could, it, they just like, yeah, we're just gonna throw out Lord Slug here. Who cares, right? Um, uh, there are some quotes there. True Might Goku, yeah, Gress, yeah, we will want True Might Goku. Second form Cell could be like Andrew 13 Easy A's. Beerus, um, who would easy with Beerus? I don't even know. Like, who who would easy with Beerus though? Is what I'm trying to say. Like, I mean, I guess Broly. You know, LR Tech Broly is the next in line character. I wonder if like December is like movie 10 Broly. 
And then we got like a new legendary Super Saiyan Broly LR from movie eight. Or, uh, what if it? What if it's just like Super Saiyan Goku from movie eight? <laughs> um, that could be really interesting. I, I would assume it'd be like family. What if it's like no? What if it's like a new Dokkan Fest legendary Super Saiyan Broly? And then we get no, 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 no. Wait, okay. Um, let me let me rethink it. It could be Dokkan Fest movie ten Gohan, like a Super Saiyan two Gohan. Um, then we can get new Carnival LR legendary Super Saiyan Broly. And then Tech Broly EZAs, and then the other EZA, maybe they could just give us these two EZAs just randomly, right? Doesn't really matter. Um, that could be cool. Or maybe maybe that's where this guy EZAs is, like movie celebration, right? That could be interesting. Hits would be a good choice, like always, I think. Um, maybe first to your domain. Baby will happen eventually. We have a bunch of baby sub EZAs. It could be like a, its own Extreme Z battle. And then this boo. Lord Slug, Garlic Jr. or Baby. World Tournament, TN, 22nd World Tournament, that'd be good, or Krillin. Tapion again. Goku Black, Juju Breaker's first time ever. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, okay, let's see. Fury Broly transforms to Super Saiyan Broly, that'd be good too. Bojack, EZA, I don't think he would EZA this soon. Carnival Arc, Super Saiyan God, Vegeta. Um, this would be December. Because Carnival R, we're going to get Heroes in Part 2. Um, so this would be like a December celebration. And then I would assume they wouldn't easy this Bojack. They would probably easy Tech LR Broly. Right? Um, that could be a good celebration too. Uh, I, you know, Dragon Ball Super Broly hasn't really been touched. Like outside of Blue Gogeta, right? <laughs> like literally outside of Blue Gogeta, we haven't gotten Dragon Ball Super Broly. Yeah. I mean, I guess... We, we, we did get the Blue Goku and Vegeta, right, from the 7th anniversary, but still. No Broly at all. Uh, God Vegeta could probably get his own card, right? But I think this is where we're going to be ending it off. Um, people are expecting Goku Black and Burger's first anniversary, and that's what they're doing a live stream for it. Dokkan kind of Legends have also been pushing the Breakers live stream, so okay, okay, very well, we just see Goku Black next in Dokkan Breakers and Legends, right, at the same time. That'd be cool. That would be cool. Just like trio Goku Black, and then we're getting heroes Goku Black again. So maybe that's what's gonna happen, but we can't say for sure. We'll probably just know later. But let me know what you guys think. What you would like to see as the next Dokkan Festival? I keep clicking that. I guess whatever. I'll catch you next time.